All right, man, we back. Good fellow sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And apparently, Stevie Wonder, I don't cry no more. After almost 60 years or six decades from Motown, Town leaves Motown to start his own record label. I believe it's called What's the Fuss Records. It's distributed by Universal a Music Group. And you know, there's no black major distributions. Uh, in this world, all right? We know that Sam Cooke and James Brown tried to do one. Sam Cooke ended up dead. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. So when you got a major record label imprint or, or label like Bad Boy or um, Aftermath or Cash Money or whatever it is, um, what's James Prince uh, label? I, I should know this. I just draw on the blank. Whatever his label wa was back in the day, it has to have a major distribution deal and there's no major distribution on black 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 people there was a rumor that Irv Gotti Jay Prince and somebody else is supposed to start their own to get a major distribution as the rumor goes Jay-Z snitched on them but um wonder you know what made Stevie Wonder do this after 60 years um with Motown that's crazy you know what I'm saying but it ain't never too late I guess to do entrepreneurship and go out there on your own but I'm guessing Motown have been good to Stevie Wonder and he just wanted to do his own thing um, I think he was 70 years old. Um, I think he got he just got out the hospital not too long ago. And on his own new record label, he dropped two new songs. And Stevie Wonder, when they talk about the versus challenges, who can mess with R. Kelly? I think Stevie Wonder is only one of the very few um, acts who can mess with R. Kelly um, as far as in a versus a hit for hit battle. But um, good for R. Kelly, man. Show everybody that it ain't too late. I remember with some lady that was like 80 or man, 80, 90 years old. That won a marathon like five or six years ago. So um, it ain't too late if you didn't get your education. Go back and do it. You know, if you want to start a business and you're 70, um, Stevie Wonder showed you it ain't too late to do your own thing. So um, what I think about it, I'm, I'm proud of Stevie. You know, it just shows you that it's never too late. And Stevie's got the, one of the dopest pins in music history. So um, good for him. And when I seen this story, I just had to speak on it. I know it's a couple days old, but love Stevie Wonder. Man, his music just... Was really really good, and he just wanted a, a few dudes that you know really that could touch R. Kelly or that's in that Michael Jackson category that could put up a competitive battle with them. But sixty years, you know, being with it was six decades. That's that's steep. That's real steep. And now he's out here on his own, and you know he getting money. If Barry Gordy and it was good to him at a certain point in time, he can he he don't have to make music. That's the point of doing something that you love. If you physically and mentally able to do something that you love. You're going to continue to do it until your casket drop. And Stevie Wonder just love music. And you, you can't knock him for it. You can't knock him for it. But just let you know that it ain't too late. If you want to start, you know, a business, whether it's cakes or, you know, selling something that you make or doing real estate, start it. Stevie Wonder said that 70 years old, <laughs> I think he is, is not too old, man. But he dropped two new songs. Uh, go check them out. So good for Stevie Wonder. Um, 60 years, though. Six decades. I mean, I wonder what kind of hit them in the mind. Let, let's do it now. And it's also a rumor that go out there, and I think it's actually real, that they could they had a procedure that could have got, got him his eyesight back, and he said no. He wanted to continue to live the way he lived, and that's crazy. You know, for a guy that, you know, you could see after a certain amount of time, but salute to him. You know, that's what he used to. And um, congratulations to him. And what's the first records? Hopefully he gets some musical acts on there, but we know he probably got most of his royalties back by now, so... Stevie Wonder swimming in money. It's just continue to do something that he want, he loved, and wanted to pursue something that he always wanted, and that's his own record label. So salute to him. Glad that he, you know, he didn't go choose to be an A and R over here or over there. He's just doing his own thing. So salute to him. Let me know what you guys think about the story. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. Keep sharing the videos. Um, Facebook group link there as well too. Twitter's the fastest way. Then Facebook, then Instagram. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate is share share the video. One time for the one time we gone.